Hydropower. Hydropower, or hydroelectricity, refers to the conversion of energy from flowing water into electricity. It is considered a renewable energy source because the water cycle is constantly renewed by the sun. One of the first uses of hydroenergy was for mechanical milling, such as grinding grains. But today, modern hydro plants produce electricity using turbines and generators. The mechanical energy created by moving water spins rotors on a turbine. This turbine is connected to an electromagnetic generator which produces electricity when the turbine spins. There are two main types of hydroelectricity production, dams and run of river. Hydro dams utilize the potential energy from dammed water to produce electricity. A dam is a large barrier constructed to raise the level of water and control its flow. The elevation created by the dam creates gravitational force for turning the turbine when water is released. Some dams also contain an additional reservoir at their base where water is stored to be pumped to the higher reservoir for release when electricity is in demand. This is referred to as pumped storage hydro. The second form of hydroelectricity production is run of river hydro. Run of river still uses turbines and generators, but relies on natural water flow rates of rivers, diverting just a portion of the water through turbines. Because run of river hydro is subject to natural water variability, it is more intermittent than dammed hydro. There are various sizes of hydro plants that produce electricity. Large hydro, greater than 30 megawatts, small hydro, 100 kilowatts to 30 megawatts, and micro hydro, less than 100 kilowatts. The Hoover Dam in the United States is a whopping 2,074 megawatts, which is enough to serve 1.3 million people. Of all renewable energy sources, hydropower holds the largest share of worldwide electricity production. Hydropower has several benefits. It is a cost-competitive form of electricity, even though the initial building cost can be high. It is quite reliable compared to other renewable options and pairs well with other sources as it can be used as base load power. In some cases, dammed reservoirs can also help with flood control and be a reliable water supply for communities. There are also some concerns with hydropower, especially when it comes to large dams. Damming a river has a major impact on the local environment, changing wildlife habitats, blocking fish passage, and often forcing people in riverside communities to move out of their homes. In addition, dam failures can be catastrophic, claiming the lives of those living downstream. Hydro plants are also not completely free of greenhouse gas emissions. As with most forms of energy, carbon dioxide emissions happen during construction, particularly due to the large quantities of cement used, and plant matter in the flooded areas makes methane, another greenhouse gas, as it decays underwater. That's hydropower. safety risks that can cause a dam to fail, and Isabella has all three. The first are earthquakes. A seismic fault line lies directly under the dam. Once thought to be inactive, new data and science shows otherwise. Sudden violent shaking could cause the dam to crack or collapse. Next is overtopping. A large storm could overwhelm the dam, filling it too quickly and causing erosion and uncontrolled water releases. When studying the dam, engineers found that the watershed has much more water flowing into it than previously thought. And finally, seepage. All dams leak, but too much can cause erosion. If left unchecked, Isabella's seepage could cause the dam to fail. Over the next few years, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers will upgrade the dam, bringing it up to the level of modern engineering standards and reducing the risk of dam failure. 
Construction will consist of four main parts, raising the main and auxiliary dams 16 feet, adding filter and drainage on the downstream slope of both dams, improving the stability of the existing service spillway, and creating an additional 300 foot wide emergency spillway and labyrinth weir. With such a large and complex engineering project, there will be some impacts. Visitors should expect some construction noise near the project area. There will also be minor traffic delays and detours. While highway relocations are no longer in the plan, the Corps will be completing significant work near Highway 155 at the main dam and temporary traffic safety measures will be in place. U.S. Forest Service and Corps Isabella Lake is a mecca for outdoor activities, and the Corps is mindful of that resource. While some recreation areas will be temporarily closed, they will be relocated along with other areas that will be expanded or enhanced to better serve visitors. Because of the current dam safety risks, a water restriction is in place that limits the reservoir to approximately 64% of capacity. The Corps has also done extensive analysis of cultural resources and a detailed environmental review to minimize impacts to wildlife and the environment. Impacts to the surrounding communities will be temporary and the Corps has taken many steps to minimize them as much as possible until project completion in 2022. Visit our social media and project websites for all the latest updates and details.